Hello everyone, Dan here with The Wealth Instinct. I wanted to share with you my latest blog post, Where to Focus in Your Business. Marketing always wins. But first, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you get notifications. I share a lot of articles on business, also uh, personal development and mindset. So when you're an entrepreneur, especially if you're a solopreneur, which a lot of people are these days, there's so many different areas to focus on, right? You've got marketing, sales, you know, HR, if you're outsourcing or if you're hiring anyone, accounting, um, finance operations, so many different things to, to think about. Um, but where should you focus? And if you're doing online business or online marketing, you'll hear people talk about traffic and conversions, right? And how do you get more traffic? Marketing. How do you get more conversions? Sales, right? So these are the two areas that really grow a business. And, and obviously, you, you don't want to, or at least, I don't, know. I don't want to market to um, to a bad product, right? I want to I want to have a good product, but also have really good sales. But also realize that realize that it's not always the best product that wins, you know. And I think a good analogy is, is a restaurant. If you if you have a um, if you have a restaurant, would you rather have the best food, the best ambiance, or the best marketing, right? Like imagine you have absolutely the you could have the best food in town, or you could have like the most beautiful architecture and building and structure and, and decor and everything, right? Or or the best marketing, right? And I think most people, at least, I don't know, I would, I would like, off the top of my head, want the best food because that's important and I love food. But in terms of growing your business and being successful, think about how many restaurants you've been to that are successful but don't have great food. In fact, one of the, <laughs> some of the most successful restaurants in the world have the worst food, right? So, in terms of growing your business, it's not always about the food, and you want to find that balance, obviously, right? Like, you want good ambiance, you want good food, but you also want really good marketing to grow your business. And if you think about the online landscape, it's even more important online, right? It's, it's like I said, it's all about traffic and conversions, getting more people to your offer and then converting them. And and the truth is, you know, ultimately sales grow your business, but even with, a, even with an awesome closing rate, you still need more leads, right? And in order and in order to get better at closing, in order to improve that, you need more leads, right? You need more um, people to practice your, your uh, conversion on and, and, and refine it on, um, more data, more case studies, and things like that. So to me, really, marketing is, is what wins. Um, and don't get me wrong, right? You, and you, and you see this online, right? Like some of the, some of the biggest marketing campaigns are often to crappy products and you know, it is what it is. But personally, I want to only market products that I really enjoy and that I believe in, things that I use myself. I would recommend personally to someone I know. Um, so that to me, that's really important. But ultimately, if if you if you have a product or a service online and you're not marketing it, no one's gonna be able to find it, right? So marketing is is just so critical, so important, and something you don't want to overlook. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments um, about about different op sales, business operations, what you think is important. I think um, in order to grow a business, most people do talk about marketing and sales being critical. And uh, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to learn more, I've got a link here below um, to the uh, Entre Blueprint. Really amazing training. Um, can't say enough good things about it. If, you, if you're thinking about starting a business and you want to better understand the sort of online landscape in terms of the types of businesses that are available and, um, and what options there are and, and, and what might be right for you, I think it's a really good training to help you understand that. And it can also help you understand maybe if it's not right for you, right? So then you can get to that decision point and figure out your next step and what you, where you want to grow in, in your business and career. So thank you so much for, for tuning in. And I really appreciate you, and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.